It just takes one. This is Eric. Hey, Eric. This is Trent from D&D Wholesale Supply. How are you? Good. That's great to hear. The reason I was giving you a call specifically, Eric, is I noticed that you oversee procurement. It's, hey, Joshua, this is Trent from D&D Wholesale Supply. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm going to make 100 cold calls in this video. You can see I have 100 call tasks queued up. Let's get started. These are all completely live. I desperately need to set a meeting and I'm calling massive companies. All right, let's get a real call. This is a chief executive officer at, I believe, a 3,000 employee company. So we're calling real contacts. You've reached the voice. Right now, Monday, April 8th, it's 2.04 p.m. Central Standard Time. Right now is the best time in the history of B2B sales to be cold calling because we just had the solar eclipse about 30 minutes ago. I watched it on my 44th floor rooftop downtown Austin, Texas with about 150 other people. Really incredible experience. It got totally dark. Anyone who was watching the eclipse is now back on their computer and getting caught up on all of the emails and calls they missed. So everyone is alive and available and ready to take my call right now. So we're gonna get some live answers for sure. Thank you for calling Blue River Pet Care. Please <clears throat> choose from the following list of options. Press <clears throat> one for hospital acquisitions. Press two for accounts pay. I've called them so many times I know to press six. Welcome to the directory. Please enter the first Three, letters of your party's last name. Using your touch. J-A-M-I-E <laughs> space M-E-L-A-N-S-O-N. If this is the person you are looking for, press 1 now. The person at extension <laughs> 3696 is unavailable. All right, that's good. Why take 35 seconds for that to happen? All right. On to the next one. Short memory. Sorry. Rosina. Short memory. We're going. We're making 100 calls straight. The first couple are, are about a week old. I missed the task last week, but I sent a lot of emails this morning, so we got some fresh contacts. Hi, you've reached Karen Scott. I want you to observe my demeanor, my calmness, and especially whenever I get on the phone, my tone, pitch, inflection. I'm calm. I'm not thinking. Hello. You can reach Jeff. She was a senior vice president of operations. I'm not worried about what I'm going to say. I am just making the cold calls because action solves everything. Your call has been forwarded to an automated That was a voice founder CEO at a massive two. company. So believe me when I say we're calling massive B2B companies, executives at these companies. This isn't low level B2C sales. I lead sales in my family's small business and I'm going for sales that I believe will be tens if not hundreds of thousands of dollars in annual contract value in the event we can win the account. <clears throat> I sell medical supplies. Your call has been forwarded to an automated... And I'll be going back and forth between OBS, where I'm recording, and my Apollo, where I'm making calls, because my computer is low on storage, and sometimes the video stops. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. Also, I'm so fired up from watching this eclipse. I had the eclipse glass. Maybe I should get <laughs> maybe I should go get the eclipse glasses on. Actually, that would be that would be hilarious. How about this? For those of you who are watching right now, comment the sun emoji or any variation of the sun or moon emoji or just like astrology stuff in honor of the eclipse, especially if you watched it. And hit the thumbs up button now. And if this video gets 250 likes, which is definitely going to happen, so contribute, 
support the channel. I will make another cold, live cold calling video tomorrow, literally the next day, because I'm going to make calls no matter what with the eclipse glasses on. I don't think I'd even be able to see the screen. That would be funny. <laughs> you guys have some meetings. Perfect posture. It's hot in my apartment too. I'm sweating. I'm sweating. Sweating to get some pipeline. Hi, you. Another thing I've observed: anytime I start getting past 50 calls, I, my mind starts to race a little bit. So I, I am as intentional and in the present moment as I can be right now. I know we're only 11 in, but I'm focused. Your call has been forwarded. Sure. On to the next one. And for these contacts, what I'll do is you can't see their name because I'm blocking it for anonymity purposes. Hold on. Justin Martin is currently... <laughs> well, what, what I was saying is within their name, I have parentheses in the last name and sometimes I'll put specific context. So for example, former XYZ company that he used to work at. So if you're calling prospects where you have some sort of pre-existing understanding of a data point that's going to be relevant to them, for example, they used to work at a company that is a current customer of your organization. They, you spoke with them months ago. So a, a past live conversation always indicate that in their name. So you don't need to research any notes. You can just see it in their name and immediately you'll go into that talk track. Hey, how have you been? Because you've spoken with them in the past, for example. So that's just one pro tip when you're calling. bound to set a meeting today bet the farm on it everything bet everything on it we're setting a meeting i believe your call has been forwarded what's up with the accent with these voice message attendants i wish i had an accent that'd be cool i do have a perfect voice though so i guess i can't complain Your call has been. I had to bring back the live cold calling videos for two reasons. First reason is, in all honesty, the accountability of knowing I'm going to record a video that's going to be an absolute banger that people will love, find value from, find entertainment from. That is an incentive and an extra motivation for me to actually make my calls. Because if I wasn't going to make the video, I made 100 live cold calls, then. I don't know if I would actually make 100, the accountability to actually do 100 calls straight because it's going to probably take the next hour. So I hope you're buckled up. The second reason is uh, there, there, there's a guy I coach, um, great guy named Zach, and he, he's like, my girlfriend is getting tired of, of me listening to these live cold call videos in bed. So Zach, that is your cue to turn the volume up all the way and let's keep going. This ringing sound is therapeutic to me and to many of you it may help you fall asleep or may motivate you to make some more calls double-edged sword best of both worlds
Come on. Come on. I literally have written on my legal pad because I have six of them behind me. I'm writing down all day. I am the guy who takes massive action. I am that guy. I was at the pool yesterday. There were girls at the pool. I wasn't interested in that. I was interested in sitting in my cabana with my legal pad, taking notes, entire page of notes. And they're all wondering, why, why, is he have, why does he have a legal Please pad? Hold while I all right, so the worst part about that noise, that ringtone, I don't know if you could hear that or it's going to get edited out, but I'm pretty sure that specific elevator ringtone noise, it gives me a copyright strike. So that there may have just been a blank pause in the video or it may have cut forward. I don't know, but it always is frustrating when that happens. It gives me a copyright, but I could still get pipeline, which offsets no monetization don't i'm not worried about it it just takes one this is eric hey eric this is trent from dnd wholesale supply how are you good that's great to hear the reason i was giving you a call specifically eric, is i noticed that you oversee procurement it's and i was curious uh -huh. if the purchasing of the the pharmacy supplies so the the pill vials if that item falls in your wheelhouse uh yes <laughs> Oh, okay, fantastic. I, I figured it it did. And the reason why I wanted to reach out and introduce myself is we are a manufacturer and distributor specifically for pharmaceutical containers. So pill vials, bottles, other items like that. And we specialize mm -hmm. in working with leading vet clinics and hospitals like to help them standardize the purchasing of this item because more oftentimes than not each of their locations purchases independently. Has your team talked at all about standardizing an item like that, or or have you looked at costs for that item in the recent months or years? Um, that I mean, it really falls under, I guess, what we would consider the supplies category, which yeah. is all, it kind of falls under, we have an agreement with right now, um, so all ordering of that stuff goes through. Uh, it's not a, you know, as far as a percentage of what we purchase it's a probably on the the lower end yeah. um but in the other thing all of our purchasing does go through vet cove oh nice yeah so i don't know if you work through vet cove or not but well, i appreciate we only purchase through vet cove. yeah i i appreciate you sharing that vet, vet cove is super convenient for customers because you can load up all the suppliers on there patterson covetris mwi everyone on there and i'm sure with you probably have a rebate or some sort of purchasing requirement that gives you an advantage. Um, just for context, this is a, a niche item and it, it may not be worth your time, honestly, but we find this item in particular, the vials can oftentimes represent massive savings. So for example, if you look at any of the vendors on Vetcove, they are purchasing this item vials directly from a manufacturer like us. So they're inevitably going to have to upcharge it an additional 15, 30, 50%, 100% markup so they can achieve their margin. So all that's to say is in the event you were interested in getting cost savings, just by looking at the price comparison, I guarantee there'd be a significant savings on just the vials alone if you were to compare our cost to what you're paying today. Based on that context, would you be interested in, in looking at maybe just a basic formulary for this one or two items just so you can see for yourself? Yeah, feel free to email Email me that. All right. Is is so the best email to reach you? Yeah, that's it. All right. Well, I'm, I'm happy to send you the the cost just transparently without um, trying to get volume or your pricing today, just because I know that for a fact there'd be savings. But what I find in some cases is I could send it over, and it you may be thinking it may or may not be worth your time to look at it. Is, is this the pharmacy supply the vials in particular? I know you're getting it from. Vetcove, would this be worth taking a look at based on what you've heard today? Uh, I mean, I, I honestly, I just I always take a look any anytime somebody calls, and then I'll probably go and when I get a second, I'll go and look at compared to what we're purchasing now. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, initially, uh, th there's other reasons you, we order through Vetcove. We have a API link, so all the invoices come through, and yeah. our our 
sent through the API link to our accounting system. So we we typically don't use companies that are outside of that because it changes how we purchase. It would be a exception to how we order in our clinics. And so that's difficult to do when we have 36 and soon to be a lot more clinics. And we have to be as consist- consistent as possible. Nice. So I would look at that information and make the contact. Um, but yeah, I don't know that that it would be something on our radar right now. Um, but yeah, like I said, you're feel free to email it to me and I always keep that stuff in a, in a file, um, so that I can at least reference it later. Yeah, no, I, I really appreciate it. And, and that's exciting to hear about your growth. I'm curious if you have an agreement with, but all of your clinics use vet cove, are they just, it's up to their discretion to purchase through vet cove that item when based on whatever is the lowest at the time from whatever vendor. That, well, yeah, typically um, is is where we get the most benefit from. But, yeah, they have the discretion to order it, um, whoever they want to, on Vet Cove. Sure. But if they if they don't order on Vet Cove, then they will get an invoice, and then they have to allocate it and send it over, and or it has to go through our accounting uh, accounts payable email address, and it just adds layers of work. Whereas when it goes through Vet Cove, it's included in our current processes. So. That's why we, we only have just very few from a, from a product supply standpoint. Um, there's very little that we order outside of that cove. Sure. All right. Well, it sounds like it, it may not be a good fit, but l- let me just leave you with this antidote. So I'm working with a group in Ohio. They have about 105 vet clinics today, and they pulled together an aggregate report of their spending on just the pill vials alone. And it represented about 600,000 in total spend and six to 12 different suppliers. Many of their locations are using vet cove. And the issue with this is one across all their different clinics, it's, it's inconsistent product. So for example, your logo definitely isn't on the cap. And then secondly, when you actually aggregate together the total cost, even if they are all getting from across different locations. Some are paying above market rate, some are paying below, but that's why getting together uh, an enterprise purchasing agreement just for this item, it may not be worth the time if it affects the process, but there would be pretty meaningful savings upwards of, if I had to estimate back of the napkin math, between 25,000 and 40,000 based on your size, that's something I could guarantee it's just a matter if we could figure it out process wise or not. So what I'd like to do is I'll, I'll put together just a very simple formulary of our cost, just so you can go in it and see for yourself, because this probably isn't something that's been reviewed in quite some time because it's in the, the bottom two thirds spend. Um, but it's all we do. And we, we supply to groups like they're buying it from a manufacturer and they have to then charge way more to put it on that cove, even though it seemingly is the best market rate. So that would be the advantage of working directly with, with someone like us. Right. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. All right, Eric. Well, I really appreciate your time. And if you want to shoot me back any feedback you have, it it seems like you would probably be hesitant to consider it further because your system is set up in a way that may not allow for the flexibility with the groups to order directly from us. But if the the pricing is compelling enough, um, you can let me know and we can go from there. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you, Eric. Bye. Okay, thanks. Well, seven and a half minute call. There are 36 clinic locations. So I'm calling veterinarians. I'm calling pharmacies. And they're using an online ordering system that gives them an API link for their purchase orders, which that would be a weakness of us. That that would honestly be a weakness because we would do invoicing more manual. We don't have a website. We don't have e-commerce capabilities. We're not on that website. So for that reason, I got the sense that, and they're not that big, that it probably wouldn't, they, they wouldn't be a good fit. So I didn't push maybe as hard as I could have for a meeting because I just know that the deal size probably isn't where I want it to be. And they wouldn't be a great fit based on the way they're doing things today. We're not set up to support everyone. 
I feel like I went in with a lot of confidence and I'd be curious to hear any feedback from you guys. I, I know I, I'm going to have to cut out some of that, some confidential information, but that was a, a good live cold call. And now we continue forward. Okay. Hello, you reach a voice in my lane. <clears throat> you guys know I'm lethal on the phones. You could just, you could tell I was in my bag there. It, it made, I, I, the, the problem is I'm too logical. Taking notes. Hi, you've reached Lisa. I'll leave a message. <laughs> so I'm not leaving messages in this video for the sake of time, because if I were, it would probably be an extra 20 minutes. You guys always destroy me in the comments for not leaving voice messages, so I don't want to hear it. You've reached the voice now. The key with cold calling is to detach from the outcome. Hello, this is Andy. Hey, Andy, this is Trent from D&D Wholesale Supply. How are you? Uh, who is this? I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. My name is Trent from D&D Wholesale Supply. I know I'm calling you out of the blue. May I have 30 seconds for me to tell you the reason why I called? What? Why did he ask me again who I was and then hang up? Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice wow. messaging system. I'm going to have to leave him a voice message. Two, zero, six, seven, seven, eight, zero, nine, two, two is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Hey, Andy, nice speaking with you. It sounds like we may have gotten disconnected or you had hung up on me. The reason I was giving you a call is we specialize in working with vet clinics and hospitals just like Lakefield to help them to standardize the purchasing of their pharmacy supplies. I had sent you an email with some additional context, and I believe the business case will represent meaningful cost savings. So I'm not sure if it would align with what your team's currently focused on, but just wanted to make the introduction and go from there. Thanks so much for your time. Have a nice day. Bye. Talk soon. <laughs> uh, it, so how many people, when you hang up on someone, you then immediately call them back? It, they would have to respect that, I think. The fact that he asked me, who is this? And then I said it and then he hung up. <laughs> you can't help but laugh. This guy's from the same company. Hello, 
know you've reached it. It's all fun. It's all just for fun. That's why we do it anyway. Your call has been forwarded to... The thing I want everyone to realize is you can have an experience like that where you get hung up on, it doesn't feel good, but that contact in that company is totally different than this contact in this company. So you cannot allow that cloud of negativity to impact your judgment going forward. It only takes one. It only takes one. Every call is new. It's a new opportunity. Every call is different. And I'm more excited for this one. I'm equally. Hi, this is Craig. I'm not here right now. Wow, I thought he answered that one. And I almost blew it trying to give my expert cold call advice. But I am equally as excited for this one as I was the first one. And I will be equally as enthusiastic on the 99th and 100 call than I am on the 27th call. For calling pet meds, your trusted pet health experts. If you know the extension of the party you're trying to reach, dial it out. We dial extensions, if we must. Patricia Melendez. Also, can we acknowledge this camera angle? I look really tan. I've been working on it. I have been working on it. I look tan. So we've got to admit that because I have pretty fair skin. But I think we all can admit that. I'm not wearing the button down right now because it's, almost, it's summer, spring. I like to stand. So I'm wearing my nice blue Lululemon polo that complements my green eye. 5% of the population is green eyes. I'm special. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, good. Didn't want to speak with her anyway. No problem. Your call has been forwarded. I realized this morning my purpose. And I've been thinking a lot about this this weekend. It's to maximize my potential each moment of every day. So you can get lost in these ideas of, oh, I want to go achieve a million dollars net worth by 30 or all these goals promote, but it's like, you just got to make the most of this moment right now in action. And that's the only, it's the only way to make things happen. Your call has been forwarded to 30 calls down 70 to go. <laughs> We're just getting warmed up. Everyone's everyone watched the eclipse. It's Monday back to work. Prime time. Hello. Hey, well, this is Trent from D&D Wholesale Supply. How are you? I'm good. How are you? That's great to hear. I'm doing fantastic this afternoon. I appreciate you asking. The reason I was giving you a call specifically is I noticed that you oversee specialty operations and integrations. And I was curious, as you all continue to add more locations, has your team considered standardizing purchasing across those locations so that you can recognize cost savings and margin expansion? Is that something yeah, your team... Yeah, we already have a whole procurement team on that. That's not my area, but we already have that set up in our organization. Oh, okay. I see. I, I appreciate it. And it sounds like the yeah. item that I wanted to introduce probably isn't in your wheelhouse to be purchasing. W would you have a person on the team who would be best to reach out to so I could introduce myself for a manufacturer of pharmacy supplies? I, I, I mean, not right at the moment. I'm, I'm a little bit preoccupied right now. I'm sorry. Um, so, but I, yeah, there's, 
there's we have a whole team that just that doesn't fall into my area. I apologize that I can't help you out though. No problem. I really appreciate the time and hope you have a great day. Thank you. You too. Bye. Yep. It sounded like he, I could hear a car. If, if you notice, I'm very receptive. You could hear a car. Um, it sounded like he had locked his car. So he was on the, he was on the go. He probably traveled to watch the eclipse and he did not have a name. So I'm going to, I'm going to say contact procurement, not in his wheelhouse. That's okay. So that's all we can do is we asked for the name. He didn't know it. And we mark him as on to the next. So it was a live conversation. It's always good to get a live conversation, even if you don't get anything from it. It still is good to, to be contacting people. <laughs> takes one. Just takes one. Hello, you reached the voice liked his enthusiasm in his voice message. Your call. Another intention of mine recently is unconditional self-acceptance, which means not having expectations or assumptions, avoiding musts and shoulds for myself and especially others, and embracing your strengths and your weaknesses and, and who you are. I think of it as, as love for myself. If your friend has a problem, you're their biggest supporter. If you have a problem, you are your worst detractor. So I want to be my most vocal supporter and accept myself for everything. Hi, this is John Bowden. And that gives me reassurance because I don't associate my sense of self, self-worth or value with setting these meetings or what the prospects say to me on the phone. If they're rude to you, it's a reflection of their inner state. All right, is it calling? I press call. I will try again. Here we go. Here we go. Your call has been forwarded. Thirty-six calls in, two live combos. We're getting close. Hi, this is Kim. I've got a bomb quote for you guys once we hit call 40. Once we hit call 42, I've got a quote for you guys that I have written down on my legal pad that I think everyone will like. Remain present, Trent. You, sometimes you find yourself floating out. 
you, you're just floating out of consciousness. it's been it's been quite some time since i've made literally 100 cold calls in a day by the way hi you reached kelly Rathman. and it's invigorating <laughs> it's so much fun <laughs> your call has been i'm having a blast i hope you're having equally as much fun you're having fun and deriving tremendous value. Your call has been... We have hit 42, which means I have a quote for you, everyone. I'm Right now, the book I'm reading is Titan... By, it's a uh, John D. Rockefeller's biography, and this was a quote deep in the book. He said this rhetorically to a group. Do not many of us who fail to achieve big things fail because we lack concentration. The art of concentrating the mind on the thing to be done at the proper time and to the exclusion of everything else? Question mark. What I take away from that is concentration. I'm not on my phone. I'm concentrating on making calls and sharing best practices in between the calls and being myself, which is just naturally entertaining. Can't help it. Telephone number eight, four. Not everyone has it and I have it. Whatever it is, I possess it. The Onward. It's a mind game. Everyone physically can do this for the most part, but not everyone mentally can do this. never want to take a big gulp of water as they answer. I've done that before. It does not help with your set rate. Believe me. Your call has been for <laughs> However they get it to go, they must have their phones on do not disturb or airplane mode. Your call has been for that is the only defense against a, a legion of cold callers is to have your phone on airplane mode. I have my I have my phone on do not disturb. I tried to order a flip phone last week. <laughs> Could you imagine? This is Greg Seawalk. If this video gets 5,000 likes, which has never happened to one of my videos, I will buy a flip phone and make 100 cold calls on a flip phone. <laughs> Hi, you've reached Laura. And that video would take 5,000 minutes. 
probably probably longer brian mm, good voice message brian Calls in halfway there. We're rolling. No. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic. All right, quick LinkedIn break. Quick, quick LinkedIn break just to get some dopamine rush. See, let's see what I mean. Some dopamine. See how my post is doing? Uh, okay. If we are not connected on LinkedIn, uh, uh. <laughs> your call has been forwarded. Onward, fire, go. I'm currently unav unavailable. Is everyone on? Is everyone watching the solar eclipse reruns? What is everyone doing? The solar eclipse already happened. We're back in business. Leave a message after the tone. Sure. I'm not going to leave a voice message after the tone. Your call has been forwarded. Respectfully, I will not comply with your request. All right. Correct. Your call has been fifty eight was my high school football number. We're getting close. Joseph McElmory is currently. This is it. This is the one. Watch and see. It's always the one after the one you think. Gotta stay positive, smile on the face, having fun. Nowhere else I'd rather be. Nothing else I'd rather be doing. Your call has been forwarded to an automated... The superpower is to remain focused and f focus on the present moment of this activity right in front of me. It's all that matters. Making the call.
Please leave your... I usually wear glasses, as you guys know. Today I'm wearing contacts because we had the solar eclipse. I wanted to wear the solar eclipse goggles. You guys think I should stick with contacts or you think I should go back to glasses? What do you guys like more? Honest opinions only. Honest opinions only. Because my eyes kind of get dry with the contacts. So I think I see better with glasses but I kind of like the look of no glasses more, but sometimes I like the glasses look more. Hi, you reached Carolee. We're rolling 62 calls deep. How many people didn't even make 60 calls last week? And we've done it in less than an hour. It's efficiency. Your call has been forwarded to... They'll come around. It's sort of like a solar eclipse in my apartment because I have the shades down, which is actually funny. And then the light on me, the cool light backdrop. It looks pretty cool in here. Your call has been forwarded. Yeah, it does look cool in here. Cool lighting. Good vibe. Perfect vibe to make some cold calls, am I right? <laughs> Hi, this is Kristen Moritz. Please send me a message. Uh, I th totally thought she answered there. The voice messages that sound like an answer. Why do, why do they have to do it? Why do they do it? Keeps me on my toes. Your call has been forwarded. Keeps me on my toes, all right. Should I do a cold calling video while doing a wall sit? Or warrior two yoga position, cold call. I should have been cold calling while the eclipse was going. Could you imagine? Up top, on the roof, all 150 people up there, and I'm just dialing, dialed and dialing in the corner with my shades on. They're like, who is that guy? That guy's cold calling during the solar eclipse. I'm sorry. I'm that guy. <laughs> I'm now just cold calling after the solar eclipse. Solar eclipse does not prevent me from doing my prospecting. Your call has been... I think I'm gonna have a massive grilling session later. I've got some, oh, this guy. They, they These guys answer. These guys answer. You have reached Mark's corporate office. If you know your party's four digit The extension doesn't even send me right to him. I'm sorry, the user is unavailable. Please what? leave a message after. What? <laughs> I'm going to have to call them back. I started to write it down because I knew they were going to answer. They've answered before. User's unavailable, though. All right, we're at call number 70. Let me sit up straight, get some good posture. Yeah, that looks better. I'm trying my best. Trying my best to set a meeting. Hey, this is Ryan. Where are 
where the meeting's at. Here we go. This is the one. Your call has been forwarded. It is a perfect time to be calling right now. Absolutely perfect. We're going to do it. We're going to hit 100 calls. Hi, you have reached Nikki Holt. We can see that I just started singing. No singing. I, I'm going to give myself another copyright strike. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. Shout out to all of you who have stuck around 74 calls in. You might as well go the whole way. We're going all the way. Please leave your message. We're going all the way. Maybe we call everyone back again and do 200 calls. Now that's an idea. It's a good idea. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. Call has been forwarded to voicemail. I don't think so. You have reached the Petco National Support Center. Our office hours are 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday to Friday, Pacific Standard Time. Please listen carefully before making selection as our menu options have changed. If you know the six-digit extension of the person you would like to reach, you may enter... We are sorry. It's fine even if you don't set meetings. There comes a point where the production matters, but all we can do is define success with the inputs, making the calls. Your call has your call has. Sometimes you just start fading out and you got to catch yourself and remind yourself, we're making cold calls, lock in, lock in. Heather Unruh, CV. I came into this week on fire, 
and we're still on fire. Okay, we have now hit the last 20 calls. These are all prospects that I have added to sequence today and sent emails this morning. So get ready for some fireworks. So there's no mobile number here, which is concerning. Veterinary Emergency Group, this is Bianca speaking. How may I help you? Hey, Bianca, good afternoon. I was, I may have the wrong number, but I was looking to speak with Raxme Pringle, um, Overseas Procurement and Inventory. What was the last name? The last name is Pringle, P R I N G L E. Uh, there's no one here under that name. All right. I must be in the wrong place. I appreciate you checking. No problem. Bye. Right, take care. With a name like that, it's tough to say. So I put this contact in a call only sequence actually because the email bounced. So that must mean that they are not a person. So I'm going to put bad wrong number, log call, not calling them again. All right, come on, give me the mobile. Oh, no mobile number again. Yeah, this could be a rocky last 20 calls. Thank you for calling Amerivet. This is Emma speaking. How may I help you? Hey, Emma, good afternoon. Maybe transferred to Kristen. CVT, Svet, I, I'm not trying to pronounce that, but her last name is CVT. All right, just give me one moment. Thank you. And yeah, what was your name, sir? My name is Trent from D&D &D Wholesale Supply. All right. And what was your last name, Mr. Trent? Dressel, D-R-E-S-S-E-L. All right, let me see if I can get her for you. Just one moment. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I do apologize. I didn't have her at the moment. Was there a message I could pass over to her for you? We are a manufacturer and distributor of pharmacy supplies. We work with many of the national vet distributors today and some of the larger vet clinics and hospitals. So I know that's a lot of context and probably couldn't pass that along, but I really was just trying to introduce myself to see if there might be any opportunities for partnership. All right. Yeah, I can certainly get the information over to her for you. Um, and what was the best phone number to reach you back at, sir? You can just mark no number because I, I, I know she probably won't call me back. You can maybe just indicate I sent her an email this morning and uh, you could have her search Trent. Um, yeah, probably Trent in her email and hopefully the email would come up and that has additional context and my number. All right. And what was that email? Um, I had sent her an email this morning. If she could just search Trent or... D and D wholesale, which is our company name, um, or pill vials, cost savings, some, some of those keywords in the email I'd sent her. All right. Um, and can you please provide the email um, for me so I can pass it over to her? My email address. Yes, sir. Sure. It's Trent at D D wholesale supply.com. All right, that was Trent at ddwholesalesupply.com. That's right. All right, I will go ahead and let her know you were looking for a partnership, and I'll have her search up that email. 
Thank you so much. Of course you have a good rest of your day. You too. Bye. Mm -hmm. Bye-bye. I don't, I don't like to go in length like that because she's going to pass it along and most likely nothing's going to happen. So that is what we call a gatekeeper. And when we do not have a mobile number, that is what happens. That is why we don't have uh, another non-mobile number. And when we don't have the mobile numbers, it's bumpy. Okay. A number that doesn't even work. So what we're gonna do is remove, oh, call only. So this prospect must not be there. Not in service. On to the next. Oh, we got a mobile number. We're back. Your call has been forwarded to. We continue forward. We don't stop. We don't stop for anything. We just keep making calls. And eventually we'll get some meetings. That's the way it works. Hello, this is Kim Fox in long-term care billing. Unfortunately, I'm a... Well, Kim is not Dave. Hmm. It's going to be good. It's going to be a good one. When I eventually get through. Thank you for calling Zolio. How may I help you? Hey, good afternoon. May I be transferred to Logan Brandt, please? Am I actually speaking? My name is Trent from D&D &D Wholesale Supply. And did he did he make a purchase or? He did not. No, I sent him an email this morning. We are a manufacturer and distributor, and I wanted to reach out to introduce myself to see if there might be any partnership opportunities. Okay, because he is not here at the office at the moment. Oh, Do you have nice. a contact number? Maybe out watching the solar eclipse. <laughs> 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 it's past here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I saw it earlier, but he he may be out. Um, I I sent him an email this morning, so um, if he's out, there, no need to pass on any information, and perhaps we'll okay. see the email, or I could catch him another day when he's in the office. Okay. All right. Thanks for the time. Okay. Thank you. Uh huh. Have a nice day. Bye. Bye bye. There's nothing like a good joke to humanize things, because she was she was on edge a little bit, like um. Clearly, I'm a sales guy, but then I said this solar eclipse, she, and I got her to laugh, and she's like, all right, cool. <laughs> Hello? Hey, Matt. This is Trent from D&D &D Wholesale Supply. How are you? I'm sorry, who is this? Um, my name is Trent from D&D &D Wholesale Supply. Uh, may I have 30 seconds for me to tell you the reason why I'm calling you? Sure. I really appreciate it. Well, the reason I was giving you a call specifically, Matt, is I noticed that you oversee pharmacy operations. We're a manufacturer and distributor of prescription containers. So all we do is pill vials and bottles. And I wanted to reach out to see if, if your team has had the chance to review the costs on that category and, and do any comparisons in the last few months or years by chance? Well, unfortunately, with our robotics, there's only, I believe, two companies that we can go with. Um, so we, we're not able to buy uh, our prescription bottles off outside of those two companies. So, Sure, and, and that totally makes sense, and I'm, I'm glad to hear you all have automation. We're speaking with Kroger, Publix, and many other smaller regional pharmacies. They all have the automation, and the automation machines can be compliant with many different sizes. It, one solution could be a small configuration, and in many cases, our vials, there's conformity amongst the different sizes and caps. So I, I don't anticipate that being an issue, really, where we... Well, they, they, if I put your bottles in there and my robot breaks down, they don't fix it, so... 
unfortunately they have to come from Rexam or uh, whoever the other one is. There's only two companies though. Sure. So, and and that's definitely messaging that that they would provide their customers as mitigation against switching. And based on that, that's typically how they're able to charge a premium. So I certainly understand if it doesn't make sense to to look at. <laughs> he just hangs up. <laughs> if they break my machine, they won't pay for it. That that's that's the buyer I'm dealing with. That's now the buyer. So what I'm going to make note of is they use automation and he hung up. So what I'm going to do is save it. I'm not going to log the call and I'm going to give him a call back tomorrow. That's what we'll do. No mobile number. Fantastic. Great Thank news. Thank you for calling the NCH Healthcare System Human Resources Department. Our office hours are Monday through Friday from 7.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. For employment opportunities or job application status, please visit... All right, I'm not going through that whole phone tree. Oh, there's not even a number here. Oh, it's even better. So I will add her to auto, an auto sequence. And I'm going to add the previous contact. Oh, call only. Also, oh, the email doesn't work. So, oh, good. <laughs> good. Oh, another non-mobile number. How... Lucky am I. <laughs> the person at extension to mm, wonderful. We're at call ninety. We're at call ninety. Hmm, number doesn't work. Sure. No problem. I have a solution. It's called the automated email sequence. Boom. Coming for you. Skip. Here we go. The person at extension. All of these prospects I sent an email this morning, which means it's all fresh. Your call has been forwarded to. If it were easy, it wouldn't be as meaningful. Fortunately, I enjoy, oh, <laughs> no number, sure. I enjoy the problems and the adversity. That's what keeps it, I don't want to add them to a cannabis sequence, it's somebody else. Add them to pharmacy, auto. I enjoy, I've spoken with this guy in the past, wonderful. Hello, this is Patrick. I can't answer your call right now. I totally thought he answered. <laughs> I totally thought he answered. Wait a second. Okay. I don't think she's got a number. Urgh, no number. That's annoying. Because I really want to call her. Because I spoke with someone else who told me that she's the person. So... Hmm. 
Shame. Give me the mobile. No number. So these are so these are all contacts that I remember I had had problems contacting in the past. So maybe this is the problem I ran into. What is this sequence? Oh, the sequence is inactive. Auto. Oh, okay. We'll have to fix that. Here we go. This is Eric. I'm probably doing something incredible. Leave a message. <laughs> That's a cool voice message. Objectively. He's probably doing something incredible. Two more until a hundred. Special. I don't think he's got a mobile. Oh, there we go. I've pressed call, but I'm not hearing any ringing. I've pressed call but I don't hear, here we go. Sure, no problem. Here we go, spoke with him in the past, number 100. Call has been forwarded to. <sighs> That's 100 cold calls. Wow. 100 cold calls. What a time. Solar eclipse. So cool. Happened like an hour and a half ago. Immediately got back up. Had to make my 100 calls because I committed to it this morning. If you followed me on LinkedIn, you would know that. Or I guess I posted it also on YouTube, so you know that. Action solves everything. I feel good. I feel better that I took a lot of action. We didn't set any meetings. That's okay. At least we did the inputs. We control what we can control. And we live to call another day. We're going to make some more cold calls tomorrow. So subscribe now. And more cold call videos on the way. Let's do it.